Would you like to interact with your Elasticsearch data in Microsoft Teams using an intelligent assistant? In this video, I'll show you how to integrate Elasticsearch with Microsoft Copilot. All the code shown will be available at the link in the description. For this example, we will upload a dataset with invoices related to different consumptions from a company. That information will be inserted into Elasticsearch and connected to Copilot through a publicly exposed API using NGROC. I'll create a virtual environment with PM to install the dependencies and run a couple of Python scripts. One to ingest the data and another to run an API that performs Elasticsearch queries. With Fast API, I'll build the API and expose endpoints to interact with Copilot. Elasticsearch will serve as the core of this app, allowing us to perform queries and the M will help handle environment variables. In the ingest script file, I add the code that creates data mappings and ingest the documents into Elasticsearch. All data will be stored under the invoices index, and this index will have a semantic field where the field description and service.name will be copied into the semantic text field using the copy to property. The last method is used to index data. When the script is executed, the index is created and the data is inserted into the invoices index. In the file named API, I'll define the API that communicates with Copilot. The relevant part here is the two endpoints created. The first receives a query in a string format and executes a semantic search on the semantic text field, returning semantically matching results. The second performs a range query based on a range of dates, including but the start and end dates. At the end of the script, I'll set up NROC to generate a public URL and serve the API. I'll execute the script and save the link generated by NROC. It could be useful in later steps. I have also prepared an open API specification file for this API. This file contains all the information related to the created API. Here, you should include things like the documentation for all endpoints, their parameters, and returned values. It could be used to inform Copilot about the API and the endpoints that will be called as actions by Copilot. The URL generated by NGROC will be included here without the protocol. Now it's time to create an agent. At copilotstudio.microsoft.com, I'll create and configure an agent. Here, I'll set up fields to provide context about the function and task the agent will perform. Providing detailed and precise descriptions can help the agent tailor the response to your needs. With the agent created, the next step is to add functionality. For that, I'll insert actions. The actions will allow Copilot to communicate with the Python API. I'll insert the actions using the previously built OpenAPI specification by dragging and dropping it into the new REST API option. I'll add one action for each endpoint created and documented in the OpenAPI specification file. In other words, one action will execute semantic queries and the other will perform date range queries. Finally, I'll add put actions to the agent. Before testing, we need to configure a few settings. The first is to enable the Generative AI option. This activates AI capabilities for the agent. Also, I'll disable the Enhanced Search Results option, which may incur additional cost, something we want to avoid for this example. In overview, I'll disable the Knowledge option. This prevents the model from using pre-trained knowledge when responding to requests and ensures it only uses the knowledge from Elasticsearch. Finally, since I am using the free tier of NGROC, I need to set the header NGROC skip browser warning to avoid abuse alerts generated by NGROC. This process must be done for each action. Now the agent is ready to use, and you can test it using the chat on the right side of the screen. 
Copilot needs to establish a connection before performing any actions. To do so, just click on connect, submit the form in the pop-up tab and refresh the chat. After that, you'll be able to enter a prompt and get results from Elasticsearch. Also, I can test the search by date range action. Going to the console, I can see the requests and results returned by Elasticsearch, along with the corresponding queries sent by Copilot for both the semantic search and the date range endpoints. This agent can also be used in Teams, which is more comfortable and very simple to install just with a couple of clicks. The agent will be available as a chat and can also be called from the Copilot app in Teams. Here, you must connect the action as well, just follow the same step as before, and try to enter again the prompt to execute the action. In conclusion, the integration between Elasticsearch and Microsoft Copilot is easy to develop and allow us to interact with our data in platforms like Microsoft 365 Copilot and Microsoft Teams. Thank you so much for watching, and don't forget to go after your dreams. Bye.